Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic schedule to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist who enjoys painting in acrylic and making life experiences come alive on the canvas. I'd like viewers to sign up for my new course entitled Succeeding as a Fine Artist guidance, tips, and strategies. If you want to learn a lot about how to promote and sell your art and make a living selling art, sign up for my course. It's on Udemy and the, the link is in the description box. Now with me today on Art Snack is Caitlin Brown, better known as the artist Storm, all the way from Trinidad and Tobago. Hello, Caitlin. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. And thank you so much for joining me today on Art Snack. Thank you for having me. So, Caitlin, please tell us a bit about how you got started as an artist and involved in the arts. Well, to be honest, my family is an artsy family, very creative. My parents, both journalists and writers, my yes. my my both my mother and father. My father is American. My mother is Trinidadian, both deceased. But my mother, um, from a very early age, saw that I love to color, I love to draw. Yes. And um, she would have supported me from a very early age. I was homeschooled. Okay. So I was given homeschool for the first five years of my life. Yes. I did not do preschool. So while I was at home and my grandmother was teaching me my ABCs, my, my, my math, my mother would have bought sketch pads and coloring books. My brothers, one of my brothers, I have four brothers and two sisters, yes. one sister deceased. Um, my eldest brother, Ken Reyes, from Arima. I'm from Arima. <laughs> okay. Hi, Arima. <laughs> and um, he is an artist. Yes. Still is. Okay. And he he had so much uh stuff like the sketch pads and the paints and whatever. Yes. I used to be interfering with it and following okay. him around, but he would never um give me any licks or, or or buff me up for taking his stuff. He would show me how to use it. Right, right. So he became my first teacher and mentor. Excellent. Excellent. So I used to do all the coloring and he loved, he loved comic books. So I got to love comic books. So animation, cartoon drawing was my first thing. Okay. And then I went on from primary school. I attended a Rima Girls Arts School, um, very social family. So it was easy for me to just fit in, in that atmosphere of being alone and then going um, to school. Yes. And I did a little music, piano lessons and stuff. And then yeah. I went on to Arima Government Secondary School, which is Arima Central at the time. At right now, it's Arima Central. And that's where I really began to understand what art is. Okay. Because my teacher, Mr. Lloyd Harris, God rest his soul, he was my, also my brother's tutor, my elder brother's tutor, Ken. So I learned from Mr. Harris and music from Mrs. Batson. So I was always in the music room or the art room. Right, right, excellent. Mm -hmm. And so um, are you self, would you consider yourself um, self-taught like in later life and experimenting? I would yes. think so. I did I did art for exams. Oh, you did, and okay, okay. I did so, art for exams so at CXC level, at CXC right. level. Excellent, yes. And I got a distinction there. 
Um, ah. and after school, I did a, a few courses in um, silk screen printing. Oh, okay. So you did a lot of formal training, really. Okay. A, a, bit, a bit. Yes. And having my brother with me, it was easy because um, he had an, a studio. Yes. And now defunct tone in our creators. And I, I worked with him as an OGT. So I got to experience sign painting. Oh. So I got to some experience working, do, painting um, advertisements on walls and banners and that sort of thing. And yes. those days, people would use a lot of banners to advertise. Yes. So yes. we had a lot of banners to do. And I would get to be part of that creation of the banners for okay so they actually hand painted banners yes hand painted banners okay yeah and signs yes signs banners so graphic design was what i really wanted to do yes. um and i i started painting on my clothes so if i my clothes got stained because i was not you know artists are not really careful with clothes right oh no <laughs> So if I'm doing a bit of tie dyeing or, or, or bleach, bleaching yes. out, it would damage my clothes. So I started Fine. to paint around the spot. Okay, creative. And All my the way. <laughs> would bring their clothes now for me to do that. So I started that business. Okay. So I had my little side business painting for a fabric. Yes. So I went on from painting banners to painting clothes. Clothing. Okay. And I, I continued doing um, postcard design and all sorts of anything to do with art. Yes. But in Trinidad, we don't make money as an artist unless you're in an organization or a clique. That, that's just what I recognize. Uh -huh. So I decided that um, I needed to make some money. By then I had a son. So I jumped out of the art for a bit and I entered food and beverage. Okay. So that's where my degree is. And I stayed there for 20 something years. Ah. So I kind of was not doing much of the art. Mm -hmm. For quite um, a while. Yeah. But when COVID came, COVID caused me to be home and I acquired an, a set of pencils and paints that I got from Mother's Day. Yes. I started doing it again. Yes. And, and enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. It's part of your blood, really. Yes. I can't well, help thank it. Thank you. Thank you so much for that wonderful uh, synopsis of your, your art life, your really? life as an artist <laughs> and the journey as an artist. Now, I'd love to see some samples of your work. Right. So, because pencil is my favorite. Yes. I just love how it feels to, to just get the image of someone with pencil. Okay. And this, this is a piece of, of my brother in the state. Okay. He is a Muslim. Yes. Um, he's Moorish, Moorish scientist of America. So okay. this is his outfit here. And I just love how I got his expression. Okay, so wonderful. I, yeah. Yes, it's quite realistic. Yes, and this is a friend of mine who was challenging me to use charcoal for the first time. Okay, charcoal, yes. And this was the one time I ever used charcoal the first time and I got it. He sent me Excellent. a photo of himself. Excellent. So this is my schoolmate, Dexter. Yes. And this is the charcoal. <laughs> Excellent. I like how you got the dreadlocks and everything. Yes, I love how the charcoal gave me that realistic feel. So it's charcoal on board? Charcoal on... Um, I, I think this is regular sketch pad. Okay. Yes, regular okay. sketch pad. Uh, yes. The charcoal and pencil. Okay. Beautifully yeah. done. This piece is fabric because fabric design is my face. That was my face love. Okay. I love the pencil, but I love painting on fabric. So when I was a child, a, a teenager, I used to do a lot of fabric design to make money. 
basically. Yes. Right. So this is just this is just a, a random piece, um, untitled. Okay. So you use some um, different types of fabric, and then you also paint on the fabric. So it's um. So this is a, actually another challenge that someone gave me this fabric. It's a, a, a very sheer fabric. And he said he asked a lot of people to um, paint on it, if, if painting can be done on it. And yes. they all said, no, it will seep, it will cause problems. And I said, you know what? I like a challenge when it yes. comes to art. So I took the fabric oh. and I painted on the fabric. It was more than one piece, but this is like the ultimate piece. Yes. And and immediately when he saw it, he gave me a job to paint uh, something on somebody's outfit. So he's oh. a designer. So he wanted to see who's the best person he can choose to do art on fabric. Yes, what type of fabric? Is, it looks like silk, almost like silk. It's a, it's, it's, it's a silk mix. Oh, okay. Right. right. Yeah. So, so it's a silk mix. So it's very sheer, very, 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 as you see. Yes. I had to put something in the back to, for you to see the image properly. Oh. Yeah. And then and around the face, what did you use? Acrylic. Oh, so all of that oh. is painted on. It's it painted looked, on the fabric. Ah, it looked like extra fabric um, stitched on. Yeah, That's the way beautiful. it is done at the edges. The edges. Yes. It, beautiful. Okay. The whole thing is acrylic paint on this fabric. On the fabric. So Beautiful. Fabric close up. Yes. And the acrylic. So what you do is you, you, you put white first. Yes. And then you apply whatever else after. Okay. So you see how sheer the fabric is when you cut yes, it? Yes, it is. Yeah. And I really thought those colors were, um, you know, a collage of... of um, oh, no, no, fabric. I don't do... I don't do... Um, the applique work. No. Yes. <laughs> and this one, this is my mom and my, my dad and myself. Okay. A self portrait. Yes, yes, wonderful. And pencil work again. Yes, color pencil and um, the bees. 6B, okay. 5B, 4B. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Quite realistic. 